Good morning and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Dave Deacon and the canola is really blooming across the state and Josh, it's a beautiful crop, a lot of yellow across Oklahoma and it looks probably like one of the best ones yet. Yeah, it, it looks great, Dave. Uh, the canola, um, while we m might have had some rough starts and spots, you know, we, we, we talked about how, how difficult planting was with the rain and the timing, but the canola that got in this year looks looks fantastic. It looks looks really good. So what what separates the appearance of this crop from say some of the previous crops? Well, I mean, the one thing we always say in agriculture is, is rain drives everything. And we've had really nice rainfall patterns this winter. It seems like when things were starting to dry up, we'd get a nice big statewide rain. And I think that's what's, what's doing most of it. However, the temperature, you know, we talk about canola and temperature all the time. We, we really just didn't have that 80 degree day to, to sub freezing temperatures very often this winter. We had a nice gradual cooling, kind of went into dormancy, really nice, had good growth to it, everything just kind of everything kind of clicked if, if you were to take a notepad and you were to put all the right conditions for canola I think this year would tick most of those boxes now switching to wheat another winter crop are, are, are we seeing that same kind of optimism with that crop as well Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the last couple weeks have done amazing things to, to both these crops, wheat and canola. Um, we're starting to see really thin stands, really really get a whole lot of tillers, a whole lot of uh, good good looking vegetation to it. We're starting to see a lot of it start heading around the state. So uh, both our, our canola and our, our wheat are, are in a good spot. Um, that doesn't mean we need to let our, our guard down. Yeah. Absolutely not. We, we haven't made the crop yet. And, and when we go back to canola, now's that time to where we start worrying about our pot feeding insects and and when we talk about our aphids and and things like that that have always been known to uh, we get a lot of yield put onto it and aphids take a lot of weight we do have a couple of other ones we have a, a couple of flower feeding insects that we don't have a whole lot of uh, management we can do for but aphids are the big one um, and and what product you use is going to def define when you can use it um, a lot of growers are very familiar with transform because of sugarcane aphids and sorghum we have that labeled for canola as well but we we need every petal to drop off the plant before we can use that. That is after petal fall. So if we get aphids come in really early, we have other options. They're typically more expensive. And so we have to make sure that we get a good handle on those. And if we if we can wait for those petal fall and all that to come in and make that, that transform application, we'll be pretty good. But uh, um, yeah, other than that, the aphids are, are really the big thing. And then and then cross your fingers for for good good moisture and cool conditions from here on out through May. You're, this is kind of that season when it comes to OSU Extension where where the producers get to come to the fields and, and, and learn about the different crops. There's, there's wheat variety tours going on, but then there's also the canola tours across northern Oklahoma. Absolutely, our canola tours are gonna are gonna occur in, in two days. We're gonna have it at the 23rd at the the North Central Research Station there in Lahoma. Got a beautiful crop up there. It, it'd be great for everybody to come up and see that's in the area. That's gonna be at 9 a.m. Two o'clock that afternoon, we're gonna be up in Grant County, just north of Lamont. Um, and then the 25th, that following Thursday, we're gonna be on the east side of the state in Miami, looking at some of the good looking canola up there in, in Ottawa County. So um, really good opportunity to come out and see this great looking canola crop this year. Uh, check with uh, local extension, uh, make sure that you're, you're on those because it's a, it's a great year to come out and look at, at the good potential that both these crops can have when, when given the right environmental conditions, right Dave? It Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Josh. And for more information on those tours and management options, go to our website, setup.okstate.edu.